With the long time requested ranked free for all now in Halo Infinite, I'm sure a lot of people are jumping into playing it, and I recently did, and I want to give you guys my top 10 tips on how to improve and instantly get better at ranked free for all in Halo Infinite. The reason why I feel like I need to make this video about ranked free for all is because there are definitely different techniques you need to utilize while playing free for all compared to 4v4 to succeed in the game. So at any point in this video you find it insightful or learn something or just enjoyed the content, make sure to tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more stuff like this. So let's get right into the video here. My first tip for you guys is to not instigate gunfights. I know it seems very contradictory because it's a first person shooter. You go in the game, you want to shoot things. But the thing is that 1v1 gunfights are difficult. I don't care what level of difficulty you're playing at for you it's always gonna be more difficult to play and then usually you'll leave yourself one shot or very damaged after a gunfight if you win that 1v1 which are kind of more toss-ups what you want to do is focus on cleaning up damaged players there's no honor system in free for all it's about how you get those 25 kills and that's the easiest way to do it plus oftentimes if you instigate a gunfight because it does happen occasionally since you're damaged a lot of times people will come in to clean you up as well you're basically breaking even most of the time so you want to focus on making sure you're not instigating the gunfights and also just jumping into the middle of current existing gunfights to clean those players up tip number two is don't shoot at everyone it's become a pretty much mental practice for most players out there who are playing team slayer for example Example, or just ranked team arena that you just want to put damage out whenever you can to help out your team not in free for all you don't want to be handing out free kills to enemy players you're basically helping out the lobby if you're shooting players you don't know for sure if you can clean them up that's why you want to reserve your shots for one not to reveal your position and two not to help out the lobby so you want to make sure if you're shooting and instigating and you're jumping into a gunfight that you know that you can get those kills confidently plus there's nothing more frustrating than finishing a free-for-all lobby with 10 plus assists you're only helping out the enemy players third tip i have for you guys is to focus on getting at least one kill per life i know that sounds like a duh moment kevin i jump in i'm trying to get kills when i spawn in yes that's true but it determines your mentality of how you approach your life and how you move throughout the map i mean it is a race to total score not your kill death ratio for finishing in first second or third place that will help you rank up though you don't want to be handing out the lobby free kills by just running out to the open and stressing and you know thirsting over players to just get the kill focusing on making sure you get at least one kill per life definitely changes your mental play style so either you play more aggressive or less aggressive or more passive depending on how the game mode is going for you and to get at least one kill per life plays into my fourth tip here and that is to use your audio audio is very crucial in free for all every time i spawn in i'm listening before i'm looking honestly because you get so much information from the game what, what you're just listening to you can hear distant gunfights you can figure out the direction where they're coming from you can hear footsteps very clearly within this game as well using your audio provides more awareness of where to expect enemy players to be and that way you can anticipate where to go to rather than just aimlessly walking around which we'll talk about a little bit later so using a pair of headphones or a headset will greatly improve your chances at winning in free for all in halo infinite fifth tip here is a pretty standard one it's predict spawns now i don't mean memorize all the individual spawn locations on the map it's not that necessary what i mean by that is keep track of where you are spawning on the map right assume if you've left your initial spawn location after a certain distance there's going to be someone up popping up right behind you most likely so you want to keep your head on a swivel and anticipate these spawn locations on the map so let's say here for example i spawned at subway and then i just kind of go up my normal route up this way maybe go up to p street maybe try to get that shotgun or something like that right well since i've left that initial spawn location you better believe there's gonna be someone popping up right behind there so it's gonna be a very popular spawn point because i kept track of where i am spawning and their very popular spawn point is up here in cafe and another very popular spawn point is over here at the back of the a spawn as well so just things to keep in mind while you're playing number six on this top 10 list guys is to patrol a section of the map ideally what you want to do is find an advantageous location with a little bit of high ground maybe a little bit of cover there as well and then it gives you an opportunity to maybe check different sp popular spawn points where players can activate right behind you basically but you know that they're going to be there so you get to jump on them knowing these advantageous locations to take advantage of spawns and also of high thin cover advantage definitely plays in the part of the previous point about predicting spawns and keeping track of where you do spawn on the map because I guarantee other people are going to be spawning there as well. Mostly you don't need to run across the entire map to go find a kill. Like yes, like I said, use your audio to figure out where gunfights are. If there's a gunfight all the way across the map, 
Honestly, don't bother with it for the most part, because most likely they're going to be spawning somewhere else rather heavily close to you, so I wouldn't stress about it too much. Obviously, sometimes you need to do that if you hear a lot of action on one side of the map, because you don't want to be left out because it's a race to 25. Patrolling this section of the map really holds true on maps like Aquarius, Bazaar, and Live Fire, but maps like Catalyst, you can be a little bit more aggressive to move across the other side of the map to try to seek down those kills. Number seven is to slay out the objective. Yes, there is King of the Hill within free for all, which is kind of an odd choice. We'll talk about that a little bit later in this video as well, but I'm also throwing in like power weapons and power ups as these do play as like mini objectives within the game. Just like team mode, you'll oftentimes find players just throwing themselves onto an objective, throwing themselves to grab rockets or camo or something like that. So it's really important to make sure you kind of slay out and pretty much anticipate other people having the same idea as you to grab that same power up. So make sure you're utilizing your audio. Keep an eye out for spawners around you as well to understand where these different locations are. Oftentimes something like a camo or overshield might not be worth picking it up because it might be just too hot for that many people to jump in and try to get that overshield, but you can stay back, slay them out, make off maybe two or three different players, leave a space open, then jump on that spot to grab that overshield, grab those rockets. This tip certainly becomes more prevalent the higher you go up in CSR because good players anticipate these power up pickups to make sure they have the advantage within the game to win. And like I said, King of the Hill is within ranked free for all kind of an odd choice in my opinion, but like just like I said with slaying out the objective, you gotta make sure you can get what you can when it comes to King of the Hill. It's a tough game mode to consistently do well as you have five other players all piling on the same point. It can be rather chaotic. So when a new hill rotates, if you see most of the lobby up, maybe focus on trying to slay out a little bit, play off of what everyone else is doing, because you're gonna see people jumping on the hill right away. Because if you pick off two guys, there's probably somebody else in the lobby that picks off somebody else, that's like half the lobby down right there, making it much more advantageous for you to grab the hill. Now, obviously, you kind of have to play off of what's happening within the game. You grab as much hill time as you can but don't just throw yourself on the hill because it's right there. You gotta make sure when you do get on the hill that you have an opportunity to actually stay on it then longer than like one or two seconds. Ultimately, it is a scrappy game mode and rather difficult to, like I said, to consistently do well in King of the Hill, but it's more just kind of playing off the momentum of the lobby to see when you can get some time on the hill. My ninth tip for you guys is to move with purpose. Don't just aimlessly walk around the map looking for a kill. Move because you know there is somebody there or you know that there is potential for you to get a cleanup. I find when I'm playing ranked free for all, if I'm moving without any purpose, I find myself making much more careless movements to get slayed by people who are, well, doing the same thing as I was suggesting. Another point of moving with purpose, let's say for example here, you spawn here in Cafe on Streets. This is a very popular spawn point. You will spawn here in this game mode when you're playing free for all. And you say you want to get over to like the B stronghold side, right? Well, moving without purpose, you'll just probably just sprint right to the point because that's the quickest point. You hear action. Halo Infinite's gameplay is rather fast, but you want to try to get there as soon as possible. The thing is though, look where I just walked through guys. Okay, take a look at this. Is there any cover I'm utilizing? If there are any places I can get killed from, you know, PD is a very popular spawn point. This back alleyway is another popular spawn point. I'm running across the open right here. Could get picked off by people on this balcony. Could be picked off by people up in A as well or something like that. There's so many different angles to get shot from. So moving with purpose, knowing that you need to make sure you minimize your uh, angles of being attacked from. So what you want to do, if you want to get to B, the better route would be to go to the back of A because look how much less the angles there are for you to get shot from. You got like this right here or maybe right here that's about it if you want to move over to b i found myself a lot of times if i try making this route right here as well people will spawn right at a if you're given that much space and you'll get shot oftentimes you'll get left like one shot if you can most likely like, i get killed trying to make that cut through so really the better move would be to go through pd this way it is a bit longer but it moves with purpose to help make sure to check spawn points so you're not having anyone spawn behind you your back is to the edge of the map so you have no one spawning up behind you either and then you can get yourself to be that's just the better move with purpose kind of technique to utilize while playing halo if it's free for all number 10 is more of a mental tip for you guys here but don't be discouraged by your rank and what I mean by that since the mode is brand new in Halo Infinite the rank system gets a little funky for some reason you'll get placed much lower than you really should be placed in this same thing happened when ranked doubles came into Halo Infinite we had some pro players getting some interesting placements 
Frosty, who's one of the greatest Halo pros to ever play the game, when he played his placement matches for ranked doubles, he actually placed into Platinum 2. Now, I had a very similar experience as well. When I was playing ranked free-for-all, I actually placed into Platinum 3. I was like, man, I feel really bad about myself, actually. The thing is, though, don't be discouraged, because I placed Platinum 3, and I was playing against a lot of other high-tier Platinums, but I actually had someone jump in my chat, and I was kind of being down on myself, like, oh, I played so poorly that match. The guy jumped into my chat from the game, and said, like, yeah, I was a top 100 HCS free-for-all player during uh, Halo Infinite and also Halo 5, so don't get too down on yourself. Now, if you guys want to improve your BR skill, check out this video right here. I did a tutorial on how to improve your shot on the battle rifle. Thank you very much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Make sure you tap that like button to help support the video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.